You're listening to KXP Whoa Pop. John Kurtzer here filling in for Derek Mazzoni. And it gives me great pleasure to present a band from Porto Prince, Haiti. La Comisique. Is this your first time in uh, Seattle? Yes, our first time in Seattle. Debut in Seattle. Let's hear some music, then we'll talk. <laughs> La Comisique from Porto Prince. Great. Na manje bien na kite soa ya 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 ale pa o ya ya eh eh ya ya rive ya 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 ale pa o ya 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 ale pa ya ya o ya ya wa manje bien na kite soa so prince pa ya ya ale pa Wa manje bien na ki te soa ya 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 ale ba o ya ya eh eh ya ya rive ya 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 ale ba o ya 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 ale ba ya ya o ya ya wa manje bien na ki te soa so prince pa Café
Yeah, taking you to Porto Prince, Haiti. Yes, that's great. Thanks so much. That is Laco Musique. Laco Musique. And Steve, what's the name of that tune? That song called Pese Café. And uh, it's uh, all old tradition music. Mm -hmm. And then that's the idea of Laco Musique is to bring old traditional songs to a new vibe and, and put some new voti on it. So that's why you are in it. You have some dance hall, we have some new part that we add. Yeah. And we have some uh, arrangement that we do throughout the melody. It's a great mix. Let's hear another Thank tune, you. then we'll talk more about what you're doing with, uh, let's hear more music from Haiti, from La Musique. Great. I'm 
le mauvais temps Pour ce qu'on fait quatre mots de l'huile Bonne année, pas From Haiti, nine members strong, Laco Musique from Porto Prince, and that tune, Amba Cyclone. Amba Cyclone, it sounds like it may come from, uh, is it come from traditional voodoo music? Yes, the rhythm, it's called Contre Dance, and there is a lot of uh, harmonic, uh, accordion on it, and you know, accordion come from, we get accordion from all that French occupation in Haiti and everything, and that, that, that tendency, that rhythm, it calls Contre Dance. So it used to dance with a, a, a gentleman and a lady. And it's a very um, um, high class, if I can call, style of song, and that we're trying to enchant, and, but we're and trying for to play. All the Haitian, le huit. And for the Asian side, it's called Quasi Le Huit. Yeah, very danceable. Can you do me a favor and introduce everybody in the band, Steve? Thanks. Yes, and I started from my right. We have Nadzin, Fanny Tagimi, the queen of the end of the band. <laughs> we have Jonas Satis, Link Singers. We have uh, Tipiti, which is Peterson. James Timalis alias aka. We have uh, Lamar aka Pierce Avion. <laughs> we have Sambazao, the father of all the rhythm in Haiti. We have his son, Wulele, Tambu Conga player. We have Beloni Benis accordion. And myself, Steve, Steve Alcoy. Yeah, well, it's quite a collection of musicians. How did you all come together? It sounds like uh, you pulled from a lot of different. Uh, kinds of music in Haiti. Yes, and we had that, that amazing compilation because at the beginning we, it was not meant to be a group. It was, it was a, a project that uh, Zach Niles, the manager, has to take the ancient songs, uh, old traditional songs, and bring them to, to new generation. And it was easy to go to, to take the dream team of Haiti and said, you know what, we're going to do a project together. Can you come and put some help? And everybody was happy for, to do it. So everybody came from different background and different band and different style. And then for the project, they had no problem. And then the first, first song we played was uh, Pese Cafe. That's the demo that we, we put out. And uh, people started asking us to play that song live because we made a video, we made a video of it, a clip. And um, we, we performed it the first time and everyone was like, yeah, let's make a band out of it. And we had no choice of keeping the same crew. <laughs> And, and, and do the band. So it's a fairly recent project then. Uh, yes, we had this from just after the earthquake in Haiti, so let's say five years yeah. ago. And, and the magic of it is be, before that, just because after the earthquake, Jonas and I, there was a camp behind the studio where I, where I work, and that where they put all the people that has problems with the, their houses and everything. And we figured that nobody's smiling no more. There were no life. I mean... Uh, there, there was no happiness, no way whatsoever. So we decided to bring an acoustic guitar and a tambour to the camp and start playing those songs, or playing songs for them. They were happy, but how to make the younger generation happy at the same time, the old generation happy. So we try starting to get the old songs and then bring some dance all in it so the new generation can come and enjoy. They were like, oh, happy there. Will you come tomorrow when you come tomorrow? So we were already starting that processes 
when Zach Niles comes in and said, okay, this is my idea to bring that, and me and Jonas will be like, yeah, that's what we're working on, so let's do it. Steve, it's interesting you mentioned Zach Niles and how the band came out of this, uh, the trouble with the earthquake, because I know Zach from the Refugee All-Stars, who played here on KXB a couple, two or three times, and that whole band was formed in refugee camps uh, with the Civil War in, in Sierra Leone, so I guess Zach specializes in yeah, bringing I mean, music to people out of heartache. For us, it's, it's more than a manager, it's a father, it's a, <laughs> it's a friend, it's a family, Zach Niles. It's more than a manager to us, we can say by now. Well, there, I have to ask, there's several questions I have. One is, you've divided your drum kit in two here, and I've never seen this before. <laughs> I'm curious, whose idea was this? <laughs> you took the bass drum away from the, the drummer and gave it to the bass player. Okay, um, each of us <laughs> came from different parts. So, TPT and James came from the, the, a, a style of music that they call in Haiti, they call it Lara. In Lara, we, always, we only have a snare mm -hmm. and percussion. Okay. So he used with the snare and the percussion with the cornet. So it's a street, street uh, um, style. And when they, those guys go out, which is Silibo, when those guys go out, it's like thousands and thousands of people in the back marching in the street. So this is like the rah-rah section of the this band here. Is the, the, the cornet is a horn you're playing. Exactly. Yeah. And Lama came from, I mean, he came from church, but he, he plays for every new group that comes out. So he's always in the studio, every new band that comes, he plays bass, he plays everything. So he's the one that keeps the tempo and keeps the rhythm. So we figured out that he's if taking the bass, might as well keeping the kick drum room. because <laughs> he's taking the tempo for all of us. And then you've got the drums that are found in, in voodoo ceremony. Yes, and those are the really, really uh, traditional rhythmic size. So Haitian culture has more than 300 rhythms on it. And I'm sure if there is more than 300, this guy <laughs> knows all of them. So Samba Zao is the father of, he's the first one that said, okay, because those traditional song rhythms, used to play only in, 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 in um, ceremonies and, and, and um, really when you go to a Laku, mm. which is Laku, that's where you come from. That's, that's, that's where you find those songs. So he was the first one that said, okay, one of the first ones that said, okay, let's teach the world, especially Haiti, that those style of rhythm. So he's kind of the father of all that in Haiti. An accordion you find in Tupidor music? And yes, an accordion we fought it in Troubadour. He played with Tsikoka, he played with uh, a lot of like those rid style, which is Contre Dance, which is uh, um, Kwazele Yuit. So all this, he come from that environment. And Nadine came from church, and Jonas is a rock, <laughs> hip hop singer. Okay. And me, I come from, my, my father It's a very big guitar player, singer. He's kind of a legend back in Haiti. And, Yes, around the world, it's Boulot Valcourt. And then, so we all have different backgrounds, and when we merge all that together, that's give the, the, the Lacou music. It's great the way you brought it all together. I should mention you have this uh, album out, Wadio, on, uh, on Kabancha Records. And tell me the, the, the meaning of the, the name Wadio. Wadio, it's when we're done with the album, and then that was that song on it that called Wadio that Mr. Jonas. But Steve, one thing you you forget to say where Hulele from. <laughs> Hulele, yes, Hulele is the son of Zao. He comes from Bapichos, and he's a he's the wonderful tumble player, and he yeah. learns a lot from his father and all this rhythm traditionally passed from his father to him. So there's a generation to generation thing going on in this band. I yes. can see in many ways. Yeah. Yes. So to go back to Wazio, thanks Jonas. To go back to Wazio. <laughs> Uh, what you and Creole, if you can translate it in English, it said, go and tell them. So you go and tell them. And the song, it said, what you know la toujours. It's what, uh, you go and tell them, we still there. As a big, big picture, like you go tell the world that Haiti is still there, that that culture is still exists and we're still doing great. Well, we're going to hear that song in a minute. I want to mention you're listening to Woe Pop on KXP. I'm John Kurtzer filling in here for Derek Mazzoni, who's way... And uh, really my pleasure to welcome these guys, uh, La Comusique, to, the, to our studios and also to Seattle for the very first time. They're on your first tour and you're playing tonight the Nectar. And this weekend, I know you're at the Vancouver Folk Festival because I'm going to be up there. And uh, you, this is your first big tour, right? Yes, our first three-month tour, kind of. Oh, and it's going well so far, huh? It's going well. Yeah, well, I can't see how people not like this music. <laughs> Thank you. Well, let's hear Wadio. Thank you. Why I am 
We need love in the world. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah.
Prince and uh, on KXP here in Wopop, song, a, a message song, I'd say, why do you, you tell them we're still here. So is that in response to what's going on in Haiti the last few years? Yes, and it's the response for like everything. It's for, it responds for Haiti itself. It's mm -hmm. like, go tell them we're still there after everything. Yeah. From day one to now. <laughs> well, it's great you're bringing this music to people all over the US and Canada. Tonight at the Nectar, this weekend in Vancouver and on from there. I guess you can probably check out the Kabancha Records website, get information about uh, Laku Music's tour. And uh, I want to thank you again for coming by. We're going to do one last song, but I want to thank the folks behind this session. It's really a great pleasure for me to be back and to host this. I'd like to thank, of course, our great engineer, Kevin Suggs. Thanks to our video crew, Jim, Scott, and Alia, and also uh, to Anna and Alex for helping out. Thanks so much for being here. Gonna want you to introduce this last tune, which is a bit of a carnival tune, right? Let's yes, celebrate. We, we always we always wanna play the song because it truly show Haitian culture like in a, in a different way. So say hi to you. Ça va nous faire sacrer. 
Merci. Discover new music at listener-powered kexp.org.